I think since the beginning I had something for him. I didn't like know I liked him, I just missed talking to him. Oh god, I'm gonna cry. I kind of made the first move of like, hey, like one time volleyball ended early. And then I'm like, hey, let's go like grab a bite down like the street. She's like, okay. And we had like a long conversation that night. And just like, it's just the way she spoke, how we could keep something going, a good conversation. I think we would crash into each other at certain places and the whole time he would kind of like hold me back and try to talk to me, exchange numbers or exchange a Snapchat or like somehow try to get in contact with me. The days that I wouldn't see her, that she wouldn't come, I would kind of, I would miss her. But I would, I would kind of feel like, oh man, she's not here, so I feel like an absence, and then... And that's when I realized it wasn't just like at volleyball that we just played together, it was like a little more. We were on the phone and I was saying, I, I like you, like I really, really, really like you. Like I was trying to say I love you, but I wanted to make him say it first, or like wait till he said it first. But, um, se me salió one time, I was just like, I love you, and I'm just like, <laughs> So, well, I said it first. <laughs> And then she left like two days before I did. And I remember that I would wake up really excited the days that weekend that she was there. And then the morning after I dropped her off, I just felt like completely sad. Uh, I just slept and I didn't wake yeah. up till like 11 or 12 because I knew that I, I was missing something. So I knew that she was the one that made me feel alive and made me feel uh, like I enjoyed life and that made me, made me happy. Let's go. 